क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन इफ द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री साइन थीटा माइनस फोर कॉस थीटा थ्री कॉस थीटा प्लस फोर साइन थीटा इज ए अपॉन बी वेयर जी सी डी ऑफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू वन देन ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू सो जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई थ्री साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा प्लस ट्वेल्व साइन स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस ट्वेल्व कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस सिक्सटीन साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा सो यू आर गेटिंग ट्वेल्व माइनस कॉस टू थीटा एंड हियर यू आर गेटिंग माइनस सेवन बाई टू साइन टू थीटा सो यू हैव माइनस सेवन बाई टू साइन टू थीटा माइनस ट्वेल्व कॉस टू थीटा सो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ ए साइन थीटा प्लस बी कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट ओवर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो हियर Now calculate. You are getting forty nine by four plus one forty four square root. So after calculating, you will get twenty five by two. So where this is a upon b because GCD of a b is one. So value of a plus b is equal to twenty seven. So answer is twenty seven. Now move on next question. Question number seventy two. The value of one upon cos six degree sine eighteen degree sine twenty four degree. This is eighteen. This is twenty four. So you know the formula sine a sine sixty minus eight degree sine sixty degree plus eight degree is equal to one by four sine three a. So just convert your denominator in this form. So you can say one upon cos six degree. You can write sine ninety minus six degree. Which is equal to sine eighty four degree. So sine eighty four degree, sine twenty four degree, sine eighteen degree. If you take a as twenty four degree, so sixty plus a is equal to eighty four, which you have already in your equation, and sixty minus a that is equal to sixty minus twenty four. Thirty-six degree. So for making thirty-six degree, just multiply two cos eighteen degree in numerator and two cos eighteen degree is your denominator. So you are getting two cos eighteen degree divide by sine a sine sixty plus a sine sixty minus a. So that is equal to one by four sine three into a. That is twenty-four degree. So you are getting a times Cos of eighteen degree divided by sine seventy two degree. You can write sine seventy two degree is equal to cos of ninety minus seventy two degree. That is equal to cos of eighteen degree. So you are getting eight. So answer is eight. Now move on next question. Question number seventy three. If area of triangle whose vertices are the roots of the equation z of z minus one whole square that equal to two is a. Then ten a equals. So just open the equation. Z square minus two z plus one is equal to two. You are getting z cube minus two z square plus z minus two is equal to zero. So you can see easily z equal to one. So just take common z square. So you are getting z minus two plus one. Z minus two that is equal to zero. So z minus two and z square plus one is equal to zero. So z equal to two and Plus minus iota. You are getting three roots two and plus minus iota. So just draw argon plane. Two is something here two comma zero and plus iota here. So it is zero comma one and minus iota here. This is zero comma minus one. So area of this triangle you can see easily one by two base into height. So base is Minus one to one, that is two, and height is your zero to two, that is also two. So you are getting two. Now value of ten a, that is equal to twenty. So twenty is your answer. Now move on. Next question, question number seventy four. If the roots of equation x to the power five plus a x to the power four plus b x cube plus c x square plus d x plus e is equal to zero, are five consecutive positive integers, then the value of 2a square divided by b plus 5 is. So see, uh, question has given roots of the given equation are five consecutive integers. So you can take n minus 2, n minus 1, n, n plus 1, and n plus 2, which are five consecutive positive integers. So sum of all roots 
that is equal to minus a which is equal to 5 n equation number 1 so for calculating b you have to calculate sum of all the product of root taking 2 at a time that is equal to b which is equal to 10 n square minus 5 so 2 a square divided by b plus 5 just put the values here 2 a square that is 5 n whole square divided by b plus 5 that is 10 n square just calculate it you are getting 5 into 5 divided by 10 so answer is 5 so 0 5 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 75 number of solutions of the equation x square minus 5x plus 5 to whole power x square minus 12x plus 35 is equal to 1 so there is a value like a to the power b is equal to 1 so for getting value 1 b should be 0 or a should be 1 or in another cases if a is equal to minus 1 and b is even number then you will get value 1 so first of all x square minus 12 x plus 35 should be greater than equal to 0 so from here you are getting x minus 7 and x minus 5 that is equal to 0 so from here you are getting x equal to 5 and 7 number of solution 2 now from second equation a equal to 1 x square minus 5 x plus 5 is equal to 1 you are getting x square minus 5 x plus 4 is equal to 0 so from here you are getting x minus 4 x minus 1 that is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 comma 4 2 number of solution you are getting from here 2 and now last just put x square minus 5x plus 5 is equal to minus 1 from here you will get x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 x minus 3 x minus 2 is equal to 0 so from here you are getting x equal to 2 and 3 but on x equal to 2 and 3 b that is power of a should be even number so just check x squared minus 12 x plus 35 that is representing your b so for x equal to 2 just calculate the value 4 minus 24 plus 35 which is an odd number so x equal to 2 is not your solution and for x equal to 3 just calculate 9 minus 36 plus 35 easily you can see this is an even number so x equal to 3 is your solution so x equal to 5 7 1 comma 4 and 3 you are getting 5 solutions so number of solution of given equation is 5 so 0 5 is your correct answer I hope you understand all the questions very well. Thank you so much.